Hey, hello there Aquarius. Welcome to your weekly prediction. This week's card reading covers July 15th to the 21st of 2018. This is a general reading, so please only take what resonates with you. I can answer your more specific questions when you book a reading. Just go ahead and send me an email. Thank you. There are free readings every week. To enter to win, press that notification bell and comment. Then you're automatically entered to win a free reading. I have shuffled, meditated over, and blessed this reading just for you, Aquarius. Your first card, it's the basis of the matter. It's the general atmosphere of this week. It's the background of the question. It's the death card, number 13 of the Rider Waite deck. Death. It's a major arcana. This is a major change. It's a renewal and a transformation. There's some kind of destruction and then renewal follows after. There's an ending, but there's new life and new opportunities. There is something you need to release and it may be painful. It's a transition. It's letting go. You're looking for a new path. There could be a change in your job or relationship or a long-standing belief. But regardless, it is a new chapter in life. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. It's the immediate future. It's what's occurring now. It's the King of Cups. The King of Cups is bringing in that water energy. Could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. This person, they hold in complex emotions. They are utterly trustworthy. They're relaxed and non-threatening. They're someone that's reliable and they have a positive outlook. They also have interests in the arts. They're a very creative type. This situation is favorable, especially if it's artistic. This person, they come through when you need them. They can be Posed, they're wise, they seem calm, and they could be a healer or a counselor. They keep good confidences, and they're a good listener. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups, Aquarius, is the wish card, and you're going to get your wish. This is great joy and happiness. It's material wealth. It's dreams coming true. It's everything you wanted and hoped for. There's going to be satisfaction. Yes, a wish or your goal is going to be realized. You're going to feel happy and content. You're going to feel gratified. You might even indulge yourself some. But you held your desire and you felt passion for it and you never questioned your worthiness. And now you get to savor the manifestation. You're going to feel emotional and material pleasures, but it is a reminder not to be smug. Your fourth card, it's the future outcome. It's the results or the advice and how to respond. It is the eight of cups. The eight of cups means moving just means a better future just around the corner. Could be travel, finding a new direction, and moving on. You know what you want and you won't settle for less. You need to stay the path and keep going with the flow. You do have the drive to do it better. And you might wish for a little time alone. You're ready to look for better things. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck. It's what's unseen or underlying the issue. This is the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. These are always new beginnings and seeds to be nurtured. This one is the beginning of enterprise, business, arts, or finance. It's ignition. It's high passion in relationships. It's being open for the new. 
and you found a way out of hard times. It's that spark of inspiration. It's a gift from life. It's a very positive new beginning. And there's passion and excitement and fun. And you're going to seize the day. Thank you so much, Aquarius. Thank you for your wonderful comments and validations and subscribes. I'm extremely grateful. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So keep it positive. Love and light. Thank you.